returning subscribers how are you all doing welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here for your love for your support may god bless you i really appreciate much and i don't take you for granted but if it's your first time here in my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i can promise that you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends about our today's video you can all tell from the title and from the smile <laughs> on my face guys we are going to be having a story time of a Tanzanian lady my own homegirl by the name of witness who found love on online dating app after one week of joining she is a very lucky lady found love with a Danish guy a guy from Denmark so friends I've been getting this question here on YouTube in the comment section but some of you follow me on Instagram at African Bella and ask me about this Bella can I find a Christian man on online dating apps or Bella is it possible to find a man who is a believer on online dating apps <laughs> And before we jump into today's love story, I would like to answer a bit about that. But you following this story from the start till the end, you are going to get more answers concerning this. So to everyone that is watching this video, whether you are a Christian lady or you are a Muslim and you would like to find a guy who has got same beliefs as you on online dating apps, I know it is very, very important. But my advice here is don't only concentrate on guys that have written in their profiles that they believe in God. Because exist guys that are very, very good. They believe God exists, but maybe they are not all that, you know, so strong into the religion. So you as a lady, you are a Christian lady, you believe that God exists. And you pray to God every single day. You go to church every Sunday. When you start chatting with a guy who believes God exists, but he is not all that strong. <laughs> that is why he never even included it in his profile. If he falls in love with you, you can show him the way to the Lord. Or if you are a Muslim lady and a guy doesn't believe Allah exists, then you can show him the way to Allah. I can remember I did a success story time here on my channel and I told you how a guy was a non-believer but dating a lady who was a strong christian on online dating app eventually she showed him the way to the lord and the guy got saved they started praying together they started praising the lord together they started listening you know to gospel songs together a guy who didn't believe god existed <laughs> so guys you can see stop limiting yourself but again, a disclaimer here, I'm not telling you to abandon your religion and just date anyone. Or you just take a guy, he is an unbeliever and you see, just chatting, few messages, he's mocking Lord already. If you see such kind of a guy, you block him immediately. But if you come across a profile of a guy, yes, he didn't include God in his profile, but talking a few, you see he is someone, you know, who respects your religion even if he doesn't believe then just know that that guy if you show him the way to the lord or the way to allah then he will follow and you'll be on the same page you will get what you are looking for so i think you have got something from there but also watch this story that is about to begin because it will help you very, very much. You are going to enjoy so much because you're going to be having Afro cinemas. We're going to be having everything that you guys always enjoy in success love stories. <laughs> Even the name of the dating app where she found the one because it's a Christian dating app. 
that i have never heard of it and i believe you too <laughs> it's gonna be your first time hearing about it so without wasting much of your time <laughs> let us jump into this beautiful online dating success love story and i will come witness hi guys mambo vp welcome and welcome back to african bella's channel i'm witness a tanzanian uh, living in Denmark. I've been here for one year and I'm so excited to share my love story with you today. Uh, technically, I should have been here with my husband, but he doesn't like camera and I totally respect uh, his privacy and his boundaries. So yes, let's get into it. First of all, I'd like to uh, to thank uh, African Bear for all the love story that she's sharing. I know a lot of people have been inspired by her stories and right, there's a lot of testimony actually I do for her YouTube channel and yeah you guys have been an amazing you support her right yeah, I'm so excited to be here today I'm so excited to share my love story with you all um, my past relationship before meeting my husband actually my heart has been broken <laughs> many times yes many times I had had uh, previous relationships of course and they didn't work out and right now i'm so grateful that they didn't work out yes right now i'm very grateful and i understand why they didn't work out some things happen for a reason right yeah the last relationship before meeting my husband actually um <laughs> this man <laughs> yeah but wow yeah actually when i look back at it i laugh yes like i laugh about it and yes yeah, so my previous relationship let me just tell you this story because i've been sharing it with many people and i had a boyfriend uh Tanzania back then uh when i was in uni and then uh the the last week before we break up i didn't understand that our communication wasn't that great actually but i didn't suspect anything and i remember on thursday uh, of that week uh, he opened up to me and like you know uh, I don't feel like going on with this relationship and I asked why oh it's not like I'm not in the mode of relationship right now like he just talked some reason that I didn't understand for sure yeah and I was like what do you mean he said oh but I okay I said maybe you need a break sometimes this relationship can be overwhelming you know yeah and that was on the phone because we didn't live in the same city and yeah but i i said okay i understand how you feel sometimes the relationship can be boring of course you just wake up in uh, uh some days you don't feel like you love your partner Lo that's why love comes in love is not a feeling yeah love is not a feeling love should be a commitment because not always you will feel those butterflies so the day that you don't feel butterfly are you not loving that person and i said okay i understand take your time uh when you're ready we can continue and it was like that and then that was thursday friday came on saturday i went to church yes i want to i want <laughs> i want to change uh during the church announcement yes they announced his wedding. Yes, can you imagine? <laughs> oh my God, when I think about it, I laugh. Yes, I was sitting in the church and I heard his name, like he was announcing um, the wedding of so and so and so and so tomorrow. I was like, what? This was the person that I was in the relationship with. This is the person that uh, broke up with me on thursday so this is the reason why he broke up with me because he was getting to get married so to him i was a side chick and to me he was my main chick you know how relationship can be <laughs> like you don't understand and i was like okay at that time we didn't live in the same city but they announced his wedding because his parents uh used to go to the same church yes so yeah his parents were in that city in the same church so they just announced it and they said the location and I was what? <laughs> I wish you guys could see. I froze, like I froze, and I was like, "Oh my God!" But how can you be with a person that you don't love? Uh, like you just playing with the feelings, and you know that you're very committed. Like you are in the committed relationship, and this person you want to marry someone, and you are with this side chick that you tell them that, man, please don't do this. If you know you're getting married anytime soon, you have a serious relationship. Why are you? Why are you still looking uh, for other 
I had to break well <laughs> that was it actually i put myself together yeah and i continue with the savings until the end of the savings and then i went back at uh, that time i was at, in uni so i yeah i went back and i had lunch i ate yes i ate my lunch and then i went back to my room and i slept i slept i slept at that time uh the I, I, I love sleeping actually and that's the way I relieve my pain like if I'm in so much pain or stress I would rather sleep like I will go into deep sleep oh my god guys are you shocked like I am some men can be very very cruel I'm trying to put myself in witnesses shoes at that moment at the church and hmm he must have felt very very bad i'm sorry girl but i told you that if you are dating a guy he is your boyfriend you know him very well if he changes if you start seeing some changes in that guy just know that something is wrong somewhere always trust your intuition and i talked of east african men <laughs> like i told you guys got very very bad comments some east african men were so angry at me but we can't run away from the truth tanzanian men can lie tanzanian men not all some can cheat a guy can have 10 girlfriends i told you and among those 10 girlfriends only one is the chosen one so this witness's boyfriend that is ex now must have had 10 girls or six girls including witness and they don't know each other but among those there was a wife oh my god which is really really bad and at least when i wake up i can I can even talk to someone and then I called my friends because my friends used to know him he used to talk to my friends and and I told them you know somebody is getting married tomorrow I just had the announcement in church they was like what did he tell you about it no and I wish he could have told me like on that Thursday he could have told me or on Friday he could have told me instead of going uh, in the church and me it's better to open up i think he was scared of course he was scared to tell me like how 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 would he tell me and then yeah my friend laughed at me <laughs> yeah they laughed at me like Ooh. and because um in the previous week uh, my friend broke up with his boyfriend <laughs> And you know what? That's why we laughed at it. Of course, we will laugh with my friends. If you you just just broke up with a boyfriend, like we laugh. And <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, right now I laugh at it. I know I have this friend of mine, and if she will watch this video, she will kill me. But this friend of mine was posted by her was posted by her boyfriend on Instagram until they do as a part and the next day they broke up <laughs> so we used to laugh at my friend so oh my god so that's that happened so quick yeah imagine tomorrow today you have been posted until they do as a part and tomorrow you just broke up <laughs> yeah that that was funny right now it's funny but at that time it wasn't funny at all guys you see what i'm talking about <laughs> even witness his friend till death do us apart <laughs> <laughs> and then after two days the relationship is over they play too much they really play a lot that is why you see most black african women are busy on online dating apps searching for white men though i've talked already about even white guys not all are saints <laughs> Some have got even worst cases if you compare them to black African men. But all in all, you just need to be very, very careful. Respect yourself enough not to accept to be a side chick. Tell yourself that I am worthy. I am beautiful. I deserve the best. I deserve to be with a man who will treat me like a queen. I deserve to be with a man who who will date only me not date six girlfriends not date 10 girls and i'm there waiting to be the chosen one no never ever and he believe that that guy that will date only you and treat you like a queen treat you like the way you deserve to be treated 
is there. Just keep trusting in God, keep praying, and keep on searching. That day is going to come when you're going to meet your Mr. Right. And I didn't ask him about anything, about anything. Of course, I saw the photos and the like, but I didn't ask I didn't ask like what happened no i didn't ask until one year later he checked on me he said oh i'm sorry you know i still love you blah 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 he was like boy yeah that was it who told me about online dating apps i think no one told me because i don't have friends that i know that they made their soulmate online for sure but i remember on 2018 i was just uh on youtube see other people's uh, these vloggers and until i bumped to one lady i think she was from kenya yeah and she was sharing her love story that she, uh, she met uh her husband online and i was like okay so these things are possible you can meet your soulmate online and yeah i was very curious and of course i have made a lot of friends online i have met a lot of people good people on whatsapp on facebook on instagram up to date we are very good friends and i was like okay yeah this is this thing Things are very possible and true you can also meet your soulmate online and then i started getting curious although i didn't know which online dating app she was using uh and the likes yeah so until one day uh just passing on google and the like i saw this pen pole. yeah pen pole. at that time you know people is just uh you get friends online and then you chat with one another but yeah that is for friendship and i tried actually so i had friends from uh, from the UK, from many places, and yeah, we got to chat and the like, but I was like, okay, so this is just for friendship and not for um, for love, yes. Uh, you just open your account and you chat through your email. And until one day later, I was on Instagram and this site bumped on my, my wall, my Instagram wall, and I was like, okay, so this is the dating app, let me just try. Yes, I remember giving it a shot, giving it a try. And I opened account and that time it was just um, a, we a website. It wasn't an app. And yeah, yeah, but I registered and I paid. I remember I paid a subscription for only one week. And I, I remember that time, it was 2019, I paid only 10,000 Tanzanian shillings. That was so, so cheap. You know, I got husband for only 10,000. Yeah, and I was like, mm, let me just give it a try for one week, you know. But previously I have been, yeah, I've been telling my friends I would like to marry international and the like. So the people who came to my wedding, they're like, okay, dreams do come true. But yeah, that was it. So guys, I know I've been doing lots of online dating success stories, but still exist ladies who don't believe on online dating. <laughs> so guys, you can see, Witness was like, let me give it a try. Who knows? And we see how it ended. So if you're watching this video and you don't believe on online dating, you have got nothing to lose try your luck and those of you who are still trying on online dating apps you have not succeeded yet it's not time to give up keep on moving forward because i am very very sure guys you will find the one no matter how long it takes eventually you're gonna find him if witness found the one why not you if other ladies that have shared their love stories and yet to be shared found love on online dating apps why not you you will it is just a matter of waiting time it is difficult i know but keep it strong please dear sisters and i paid ten thousand actually and my experience with the dating app actually i did have a lot of dating apps apart from that pen pole, uh which it doesn't even dating app we're just making friends and chatting and so i uh, i only opened only one dating app and that was it yeah so i had a very good experience because i know what i wanted on the dating app of course i knew what i wanted and i would know all the message that I, I think okay this one doesn't align with what i want i'll just ignore so i had a very good experience i have never been asked to note on yeah in dating app no no not at all actually for me i had a very good experience with the dating app yeah but i know some people have a bad experience and yeah okay those cases are there <laughs> actually it took a very short time actually i met my now husband uh 
only one week after joining because i told you i paid only for one week in that week i met my husband although some people uh, wrote me a message but i would ignore them because i said okay this one doesn't align with my belief we didn't go that far uh, actually and but yes i met my husband only the first week of joining because i know my money was expiring in one week uh when he texted me he texted me hello and i said hi um this is my whatsapp number if you are interested you can find me on whatsapp because i don't come here often and that was it yes yes and until he came to my whatsapp like hi this is uh so and so from so and so um i'm from denmark and they're like so it started from there yes so they actually i didn't try a lot of apps it was only one app that i got my husband yeah some people are very blessed we are very blessed actually and some people take five apps but yes you'll definitely find the one keep on trying keep on looking right we don't give up <laughs> so friends i know recently you have heard me saying i told you i told you it's because i've given you enough information i've done videos talking about all these things like me hearing witness saying i knew what i wanted it really makes me so happy i'm so proud of her because as a woman when you go on online dating apps you should know what you want you should know what are you looking for and I asked you, even in the last video, that when you are on online dating app searching, what are you searching for really? Because I know exist ladies who are on online dating apps, but it's not that they are searching for love. Maybe they want money <laughs> from men. They're in a very difficult situation financially, so they know when they stay online, will find a guy to finance them. Or some go on online dating apps, they want to find a job in Europe and be like, let me go on online dating apps, I'll find a guy and then when he takes me to Europe or America, Australia, Canada, I'm going to start working. But it's not that you are looking for true love, you are looking for a guy to use as a ladder to get to Europe. Exist all those ladies. <laughs> Guys, I'm sure of what I'm talking about. I chat with these ladies every single day, but not all because exist good, good, genuine ladies that are on online dating apps searching for love. And by the way, <laughs> I've seen that we have got lots of white men in here a single and searching if you know you're a white guy single and searching even if you're a black guy single and searching <laughs> please check me out on Instagram because I interact with these ladies every single day I know who is real I know who is just online to play games. I know a lady who is online and doesn't know even what she wants. <laughs> so we can talk and see how we can help you out so that you can find the one. Okay. I thought of using this opportunity to talk to you. Check me out on Instagram at African Bella. So my advice to you, dear beautiful ladies who are still on online dating apps searching please know what you want and go for it okay <laughs> well his first message as i said it was just like hi introduction and we just introduced each other and we started talking we started chatting and that i remember was september 16. yes he found me before that actually uh it was maybe september september 1 or something like september yeah but i remember we became like yeah, girlfriend and boyfriend like really really strong on september 16th yeah but at that time you know it was very hard for him to open up and that's how maybe dance are and many you know, you european um they're like that they don't just open up it's not like in tanzania where you just meet someone today and they tell that they love you so at least you have to get to know each other you have to tell their weak your weakness yeah like it takes some times until they are there able to open up to you so dear friends if you watched my last video when i talked to norwegian guys that they are so hard to trust a woman it takes them time to get to trust you to open up but this is not only norwegian guys from my own experience this is something about scandinavian guys they are like that they take time to know a lady and to start opening up so before he knows who you are really 
he will never open up. <laughs> he will be keeping things to himself and he will be taking, you know, baby steps slowly by slowly. That's why we see even witnesses boyfriend, it took him time to open up. It was so hard for him to open up to witness. It's because he was, you know, trying to understand witness better if she is really the one. So let's learn from this. I told you Danish guys are so good. They are serious. When you are on online dating apps, you come across a Danish guy and you start seeing him. He's so slowly not opening up so much, taking things slow. Don't be like, no, this guy is not serious. It's not a sign of a serious guy. <laughs> It's because that's how they are. <laughs> and before you date someone, it's better to know how is it like to date men from his countries. I've got a video about that. How is it like to date men from Scandinavian countries? And I remember this husband of mine, he wasn't sure about the distance because it was like Denmark, Tanzania. That's a very long distance. How will it work? You know, you're very far away. And I remember one time, uh, he just opened up to me you know i think you should not fall in love with me <laughs> okay these days i do tease him like what the, like how would you say that like how would you tell someone not to fall in love with you you know that was very weird thing to say right now when i look at it we, we laugh together but yes he told me that you should not we should not fall in love with me after him telling me that i started being busy on him he would call i don't pick up he'll text i'm not interested like i will find his missed call and not calling him back because i was like okay so i'm wasting my time so you are on the dating app you i given i you are on the dating app and you knew that i was from tanzania and you decided to send me a text and i gave you my whatsapp number you even come to my whatsapp and then you want me not to fall in love i was like i don't get it and i started being on busy on him okay so the time that i was busy on him we were thinking oh what if this is the one and i'm letting her go what if we find another one you know <laughs> Those kind of question actually he missed me yeah so guys this one i talked about it too i told you when you are dating a guy on online dating apps and maybe this guy you were chatting and chatting all over the sudden the guy starts you know decreasing not checking you <laughs> or he starts telling you let's be friends <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, you know, we can create a very good relationship. Don't start crying. You start begging him, please let us make it work. No, <laughs> don't do that. Don't start calling him 20 times a day. You send him 50 messages in a day. <laughs> insisting it must work i love you we must be together why don't do that respect yourself enough to act as a woman a woman who understands herself a very intelligent woman so if you're telling me we are just friends and i was online dating apps it's a place to look for relationships your profile was saying you are looking for a relationship now you want me to be your friend it's okay i'm not gonna block you no but i'll keep moving forward i'll give you some time to think very well of what you told me and if that time passes without you coming back and being like i want to talk to you you know i miss you so much what i said i think was wrong maybe because i was angry maybe because i didn't understand if you don't come back i will go back to online dating apps I will never be like sending you messages every single day. No, that's not me. This is how I was going to behave. Ignore you. <laughs> if you send me a message, hello, I'll reply hello. So I'll give you the same energy that you will give me. But chasing you, that's a hell no. Because when you chase a guy, that's when problems start. They will start taking you for granted, treating you bad. So give him time. If he thinks he has seen something special in you, he's going to come back. So friends, the truth is that, yes, I know, relationships are very, very complicated. But when a man is in love with you, when a man has got real intentions with you, when a man has seen something special in you, he's going to be scared to lose you. 
So when you give him that time, you know, to think of himself <laughs> without chasing him, without disturbing him, he's going to come back because he can't afford to lose you. Don't be scared that, oh my God, when I give him time to think about himself, when I stop texting him, then he's going to disappear completely. If he disappears completely, then that guy never saw anything special in you. That guy was never interested in you was never in love with you let's learn from witnesses story guys and then he came uh he opened up like you know they just they just do this i remember that was the 16th of september yeah so yeah we kept on chatting and chatting and chatting that was september and he decided like I want to come to Tanzania. I have never been to Africa, but I want to visit you on March. That was March 2020. So yeah, he came on March 2020. Uh, he visited me, he met my family and to get to know him. And my parents liked him, you know. Yeah, we went to church together. He was there for 10 days and then he came back uh, to Denmark. And then that was uh, COVID heated and we planned that I will visit him so to see Denmark and see if I can I can I, I, I I'm comfortable here and see if I can I can move here maybe in the future and but that, that that never happened so yeah it took a year for us to meet again after COVID so was doing in video calling every day sending messages to each other every day and that's it. After COVID hit, it wasn't possible for me to come to Denmark and meet his friend and meet his family. So I was introduced officially after our wedding. Yes, after our wedding. But my yeah, but he met my family first, and then I met his family, his friends um, after the wedding. Yeah, after coming here to Denmark, so that I met my mother personally. But I've been chatting with his, her mother yes yes when the relationship got serious and actually we planned our wedding online yeah because he came on 2020 march and we planned that i would visit him on 2020 june but it didn't happen because of COVID. then he came back on 2021 did we get married on 2021 yes 2021 uh july yeah so and then that time we have been chatting online I met them physically when I first moved to Denmark as a wife now. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this question is this. Okay, any sex talk? Yeah, actually like just any other couple, we would we would call each other. Yes, every day we'll text each other every day. Um, sometimes it wasn't possible to talk to him every day, but we'll write every day, yeah. And we used to talk only maybe in the morning when we wake up because we have the same, almost the same time zone. It's one hour uh, in the summertime and during the winter it's two hours apart. But yeah, we would when we wake up, like, good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, have a good day. Because uh, the, these white people, they're very busy with work when they are, where are they, when they are at work they concentrate on the work they no phoning and i go to understand that so we'll talk during the evening guys even if i will sound like repeating myself i won't stop telling you this understand a guy you are dating understand a guy you are chatting to you have been chatting it has been three months there is a reason to why that guy has kept on chatting with you for three months so get to understand this guy the job he does like we see witnesses telling us when he was at work it was not possible for him to pick the call because she understood her man. It's so, so important. Even these men that you meet on online dating apps, when he meets a lady who understands him, he won't let her go. Trust me, guys. But yeah, uh, any sex talks? Yeah, we'll talk. Yes, we'll talk actually sweet message and sending, but we never send nudes. Yes, he never asked me for a nude, like send me your breast, send me your... Mm, pp no 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 no. he didn't ask any of that but yeah <laughs> yeah whole child yeah i'm looking forward to see you you know i'm looking have to be in i'm looking forward to be intimate with you yeah just like any other couple yeah but no sex nudes no 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 no. yeah 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 no nah. but we are looking forward to be intimate with each other right <laughs> okay was he spoiling me hmm of course yeah uh 
uh first of all i didn't ask for money because these people when you first ask for money uh maybe in the first few months uh yeah they they'd be like no this person is after my money that's the impression i would understand in africa it's very normal for a man to give uh the girlfriend money even the first week of meeting each other but in europe it's not tradition to give someone money even a son to give the mother money no they buy gift and so money is kind of serious thing to them when you ask and i knew that because i've been working with international company yeah so we had a lot of visitors from germany from the united states so i i, I used to know the, the, the their culture a little bit and that's helped me a lot so i will when i have problem like i will be like this but after coming to tanzania so before coming before him coming to tanzania i have never asked for any money or but after coming of course uh he, we, we we traveled together at my home place so he booked all the tickets um go and back here and there and yeah so he get, he left me some money uh he would send me some money like if you okay uh this one this kind of money you'll buy groceries and the likes yeah so yeah he used to he used to take a very good care of me by the way he used to take care of all my flights if i want to go somewhere i'll take care of my my flight details and the and the like yeah yeah that's one for sure so yeah he met me after six months of chatting online uh he came to tanzania and then he went back to europe and then COVID came in we never met until uh the day of our wedding so we planned uh our wedding online and he even paid bride price online and that's what the very hardest part because uh this european they don't pay bride price right yeah so it was like uh why should i pay for you you know it was weird thing for him and I, t I told him that this is the gift like it's like a token of appreciation to my parents that have raised me and yeah he understood so he even sent the bad price um via the bank yeah to my father <laughs> yes that's how that's how we did it because it could not make sense to come here um at home then pay bride price so yeah to cut expenses sometimes then we had to do we had to do that until he flew to my wedding on july yeah july 2021 yeah that's when we got married yeah so we are doing this online thing oh yeah <laughs> i remember seeing him for the first time first of all uh when i met him online he wasn't as good looking as when i saw him physically one thing i have noticed this european they don't care about the photo you know we africans we pose for the photos you know we pose for the good photos and we're very careful in choosing photos but them they don't care much about the photos so i remember that day i was somewhere not in the lesser long remember that day was <laughs> I was like, wow, this day is happening finally. I was so excited, so never the first time. Like, I had all these feeling butterflies, and wow, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was really, really beautiful. I remember because you haven't seen this person, you have talking online, and I'm very excited to see him. It was, I cleaned like I was, I cleaned, I was like, wow, this is, this is happening. I remember that night I didn't sleep yes yes i remember going to the airport and picking him up like we had yes it was and he was so handsome i was like is this you that i see on the photos <laughs> yeah it was really beautiful it was really nice and he hugged me a lot he kissed me so many times like he would kiss me i was like wow this is love <laughs> where are you for all this time i was like I felt so special. I felt so special. Like, wow, that man treated me like a queen. Like he would look at me all the time. Would kiss me. Like he could not stand me going out, going out maybe for five minutes because he said, "Oh, I'll miss you every second." <laughs> but these days, I say, mm, I think you have changed a lot. You used to kiss me all the time. <laughs> yeah uh, he, he used to kiss me all the time and i remember us flying back home uh to to kigoma i was i was born in the western part uh, he would kiss me throughout the flight actually he was kissing me all the time and i was like i'm scared because this now is not our culture and how other people are looking at us and but it was really really beautiful <music>
guys, there is a story that I always talk about in most of my videos. The one of Samantha and Ricardo. That video, oh my God, I think if you watched it, it taught you a lot. So witness here is telling us how the boyfriend was so close to her, wanted to kiss her, looking at her all the time, you know, wanting that physical connection. This guy wanted to know if there was chemistry between them. Because yes, you guys can talk a lot, on a video call <laughs> but when you meet in real life you should also see if you have got chemistry if there is that physical connection it's very very important so if your man visits you let's say in africa and and he doesn't want that physical connection i'm not talking of the goodies <laughs> there is that physical connection like you know holding hands <laughs> kissing it is a stamp kiss hugging so tightly it's so important you know it makes you feel like you know connected to someone i talked of samantha and ricardo because when samantha came to italy and after this guy not coming to see her at the hotel eventually he appeared he did not even hug samantha can you imagine <laughs> so if a guy is keeping distance <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want even to touch you you know that guy is not interested in you at all <laughs> actually it is a red flag that that guy does not like you so you should be wise dear sisters so we did have an engagement party yeah but i just remember he just engaged me privately in or just two of us, no camera, like, babe, will you marry me? And actually, we don't have any rings uh, because we are an Adventist. And I know some Adventists have wedding rings, but we chose not to have wedding rings because I love you, you love me. I think there's no point of have, having your wedding rings. Yeah, but I had no engagement party. And our wedding, we did it in uh, our parents' place. Uh, it was very stressful day, actually. I think I would do it again yeah maybe after five years i will choose um a very nice destination uh just few of us and i think we'll go celebrate it again because we had a very stressful wedding until the wedding day because we are so guys now we go to afro cinema <laughs> of this story uh i was born in the western part of tanzania they're not that exposed i would say like dar es salaam actually dar es salaam people are very exposed because there is uh, a lot of people like foreigners so i think they're exposed but in my place they're not that exposed so for them beach wedding was like this is a foreign thing you know yeah yeah so i remember talking to my pastor uh early on march we got married on july and i asked them early on march like yeah, i have this boyfriend is from europe and we want to marry each other in kigoma but we prefer we beach wedding and we said okay no problem we will wed you no problem beach wedding but when the day come now he he's here in tanzania my like then they started making things very hard oh no beach wedding we have never seen any beach wedding beach a wedding outside of church we have never seen this this is not a good sign and i was like where in the bible has it written that the, on, the wedding should be um conducted in church only i was like oh yeah so it was kind of big thing actually it was big 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 things among the church we are we are called by church elders and the pastors and actually we kept and saying that this is our wedding and we want to look back to our wedding day and feel happy we will okay we'll make it on on the beach so we we said no we're not going to the church and they said no we're not going to wed you and we was like okay we can we, we can get married in Denmark, uh, but my father was very frustrated at my parents that they have invited people over already. And what would they tell him, that cultural thing, you know? So yeah, so on the day we, we got married on July, it was Sunday, but on Saturday night, we're not sure that we are getting married. Yes, because... Uh, uh, they said no the church said no even our pastor who we chose to wed as faced he said no i'm not going to wed this wedding uh he forwarded the 
uh, he forwarded it to the other pastor who was very, very ready to, uh, to, to do it on the beach because he lived in the UK. So he's exposed and he said, I don't think, I don't see any problem with that. I will do it. But then later on, on Saturday, he, that power was, um, was taken off from him and he said, okay, um, I have, this power I've taken out of me, I cannot do it unless maybe if I, if I was the one who registered your wedding, that I would do this wedding from the first, from the beginning, I would have done it. But because it was forwarded to me and the power is the, for the one who wrote it to you at first. So otherwise I will lose my license. So yes, on Sunday, we're not sure if we're going to get married. We don't know if there is a wedding or not. So yeah, until... <laughs> It was so frustrating i'm telling you i'm going to the saloon we just i just took a leap of faith to go to the saloon to get ready you know my friend my friends have flew all the way from from once from that to come for my wedding but nothing is happening so it was stressful and but at five at 10 a.m now we knew that we're going we have a wedding and actually we went to the church just for formality 10 minutes in church and then we went to the beach so we had a very very beautiful beach wedding yes but it was stressed as that my parents got stressed and my parents was you know this european have if it's no it's no and that's what i had so much respect on him like he said no 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 and that was our answer witness do you want to go no i want beach wedding okay my wife wants a beach wedding guys let's give my wife a beach wedding like he stood up for me like he really stood up for me and for us as well <laughs> my father was like i will never allow my children to get married to 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 the western people because you know they know it's not <laughs> yes but we had a very nice wedding my friends came they looked so beautiful i had my friend who is now in the u.s he came and sang for us you know Yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations, girl. I'm so, so happy for you. And yes, dreams come true i believe so you too who is watching this beautiful online dating success love story keep on believing that dreams come true and one day your dreams will come true just like witnesses because we had a, a solo singer who would sing for us when we are coming you know we, it was really beautiful and in kigoma uh they have never seen a wedding without a church choir so my father was like so there is no choir you have not invited the choir i was like no i have my own solo artist there is no need of choir i was like yeah so they wanted to do it in a very traditional way not yeah like the way that they used to like there is choir uh there is a lot of people in the church but we were uh, at the beach wedding we were only maybe 25 and that's what we wanted and then later in the reception we were about maybe 300 200 yeah and that was a big fight my father wanted 1000 people because in where i come from to have many people in the wedding is like a nice thing oh i feel them yes people like to party and they like to yeah, I think I've said a lot of details. I'm sorry if I talk a lot. I hope you're not bored, right? <laughs> so to what most of you always like to hear <laughs> in the story times, the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Bella. African Bella has a lot of interesting questions. and. You know, I'm having my phone here and reading the questions. It's <laughs> Did we share goodies? What do you, what do you guys think? Did we share goodies? <laughs> no, oh yes. Oh, didn't do it. We didn't do it. Uh, we waited and I was like, let's just wait. Let's enjoy our first night after having a wedding and yeah, and actually it was really nice because it was really nice we were both excited you know we were both we were both excited 
yeah to to have sex after after our wedding because we didn't do we were tempted of course but we didn't do it we chose not to do it and that was the best decision that we ever made yeah and we talk about it and be like okay that was good decision yeah you should also wait it's just nice experience at first time you know yes because you're excited those excitements that's excitement <laughs> What I would advise everybody who's searching online, uh, some people are blessed to meet their partner on the first day of joining, uh, two days of joining. I was blessed to meet my husband on the first week of joining. Yes, so don't give up. And I didn't use a lot of dating apps, but you can use many dating apps. Uh, you never know. Yeah, you never know where your partner is so keep on searching keep on looking but don't give up don't be so cheap yes tell them your standards tell them i don't send notes i won't send this i want them this so if they can't align with your values then they are out that one is not for you and two uh another thing you should not compromise that's one thing you should not compromise yeah if you since this person doesn't align with your value with what you want uh don't get scared to get away from it yes because one thing you have learned in life people don't change yeah we have this expectation like okay maybe if i live together with him he will change i'll be able to change him no my friend people don't change even my even i i have a lot of behavior that i have not changed uh, because it's hard to change someone. Yeah, it's hard to change someone. So you have to accept their weakness. Okay, this is their um, uh, weakness. This is how they are, and and that's how they are. Yeah, you know. Yes, that's what. That's one thing I taught myself. I did not settle for less. I did not settle for less. I was like, okay, you're not aligned with my behavior. Now I'm walking away. That was me because I was like, so if you have you have shown me all these colors while dating on the relationship, what if you marry me? I will see a lot, you know. Yes, and another thing that I would advise you, uh, I would advise you to pray about it. Uh, don't be so desperate to come to Europe, or maybe uh, you can just wait. You can just wait and do the right thing and do the right choice. Yeah. Yes yeah just make sure that like just take your time i know some people uh, they got married on the first six month on the second month but uh when you're using don't use your heart so much use your brain as well yeah you take your brain with you yeah do not allow emotions um to make decision for you use your brain as well yeah because marrying right is very important than marrying wrong yeah and Another thing, don't expect too much. Yeah, do not have a big expectation because you'll be di disappointed in life. Yeah, and another thing, be yourself. Be yourself. I will share this, um, what attracted my husband more when we, start we started chatting. Yes, I, I told you that uh, he told me not to fall in love. Yeah, but I think during that process where I was ignoring him, I remember one day I was washing clothes. Yeah, I was washing clothes in normal African way. We didn't have a washing machine at the time and I recorded it. I was like, hey, uh, I want to show you how we wash clothes and the like. This is how you do it. Uh, you wash it and then you take another clean water and then you put it, you hang it, you wait at it to dry. That video impressed my husband a lot. Like, I can't imagine when I asked him, like, why did you, why were you impressed by that video? He says, you are so real. You are so real. I loved it. I loved it how you are very, you are able to show me and to embrace your culture. And when you are washing, you are very happy because like you are very happy. You know, in Europe, they have these machines. Like I did not try to be someone else. I did not try to be a European woman to fit him. I was me as an African woman. Yes, yes, yes. So I was me. Just be yourself. So have you ever heard me saying, play your cards very well? <laughs> this is a true meaning of playing your cards very well. Being yourself and also being creative. <laughs> so I've been getting messages, oh Bella, I'm chatting with this guy. We don't have anything to talk about. 
you have got a lot of things to talk about actually you can see an example of what witness did was washing her clothes you know with hands at home he said to record a video of her washing those clothes and sent it to the boyfriend <laughs> don't think you're recording yourself showing him the boobs <laughs> or showing him you know how beautiful your body is while naked is gonna keep him no that will never keep him but you talking with this guy telling him about african culture i always tell you guys talk about culture talk about food talk about life in africa in general because some of these white guys on online dating apps have never been to Africa. And even if he was in Africa before, maybe it's a different country. So talk about your culture too. And I know Africans, we have got very beautiful, interesting <laughs> culture and traditions. <laughs> yes, like the African dance. Nigerians, oh my God, you are the best. <laughs> when it comes to that, you know, there is the way you dance like <laughs> i always enjoy it so record yourself dancing you know that <laughs> african tradition dance he's gonna enjoy it he's gonna be so happy it's gonna be something very very new and unique maybe no any other lady has ever done that guys be creative but in a very natural way yeah, if you're natural, if you are you are this and this, don't try to switch yourself up to impress that someone. Uh, I think uh, these people likes uh, uniqueness, like like the realness. Just be you yourself. Just be you. The way you are, just be you. Just be yourself. And I was like, so that one gave me credit. And that's what he made decision like, no, I want to marry this lady. I want to marry you. I remember he told me, I want to marry you. Now I'm sure I want to marry you. I want to keep you because I think that you're so real. Even when we're being asked here, like, how did you guys meet? We tell them. And he do say them, like, I was so impressed when he sent me that video. He showed me the real culture of them. Like, he embraced what he, what he have, you know yes so i'll tell you be yourself be be yourself that's the most important thing uh these people you, you don't have to pretend to be loved by them these people like when you are really you if they love you they will go extra mile my friend they will go extra mile for you imagine someone sometimes i'd be like if i was a man would i be able to uh to fly from denmark to tanzania it's expensive yeah it's not it's not cheap it's expensive to travel accommodation and everything like it's so so expensive so but i was like no if i was the man maybe i could have not done it but so when i think about someone coming to you flying all the miles uh to you to meet you to meet your family and so that's special i also agree with witness on this i told you guys again <laughs> Interracial dating is expensive and this takes me to the video that I shared recently Actually, there is a video I will do talking about that video where I was interviewing Different men talking about you guys wearing designer things what I understood most of you did not get my point at all But I'm not going to talk about it now one of the ladies that her husband in you know giving his own opinion was like Bella I I really don't understand maybe some ladies don't want to be found on online dating apps maybe they don't want to find love because i saw some ladies saying that these men are broke like who is broke <laughs> do you know how much it costs for a white guy to live let's say europe or america go to africa to visit a lady arrives there he's supposed to pay for the bride price he's supposed to pay for the hotel he is supposed to pay for literally everything like if you remember there is a lady who was living in a very normal life in africa and the boyfriend helped her to look for a very beautiful fancy apartment that takes money after that if you get married let's say in africa there is money to spend for the wedding and then after that that guy is supposed to invite you not invite you only we take an example you are a single mother of two he has to adopt your kids he has to pay the money for those kids <laughs> And he does all that. Is that guy broke? 
<laughs> he is not broke guys it takes lots of money when you see a guy doing all that i told you be appreciative and thank god because it's not cheap or <laughs> It's not something that every man will do. And if a guy does that to you, you know that he is crazily in love with you because it's not easy. I've seen guys disappearing after you guys talking about meeting. I've seen guys changing their minds <laughs> after going to Google and Google of how much it costs to go to Africa. They change their mind and be like, no, I cannot afford. <laughs> So those are the guys you should call Brock, not these guys that, you know, <laughs> have taken things to the next level and they are very, very responsible. They have spent thousands and thousands of dollars or euros to be with their women, okay? I'm telling you all this, you who is on online dating, searching, or you have found the one and he is coming to see you, he has got real intentions, treasure that man. Don't take him for granted, please, please. So you don't need to be someone else. You don't need to pretend. You don't need to be European. You know, if you don't know how to use fork and knife, tell them, but I don't know how to use fork and knife and I will use my hands. Yeah, they can teach you. They won't laugh at you. Oh, you don't know how to use fork and knife. Yeah, you won't be primitive. Like some people think, oh, maybe I'll be looking like I'm boring. I'm primitive. No, my friend, my sister, just be yourself. So guys, I hope that I have answered all your questions. If you have something that you want to know, maybe I didn't talk about it, you can ask me on the comment section on Bella's channel and I will come back and answer it. This dating app, it's a faith-based app. Yes, I'm an Adventist, I go to church on Saturday, and so is my husband, he's an Adventist, we both go to church on Saturday. And yes, yeah, so we met on Adventist uh, dating app, yeah. Um, I know uh, the founder didn't tell me to share it, uh, but if you're an Adventist, you can give it a shot. You can give it a shot. Yeah, I know even some uh, in Afro introduction, the, this section, Christian dating app, like this space, there is a lot of uh, faith uh, dating app. So if you want somebody who believes in God, there is a God. So I think there is Christians uh, dating apps and Muslims dating app. Yeah. So guys, I think you have heard her about Christian dating apps but i still insist that don't concentrate on only those christian dating apps because i know some christian dating apps or some muslim dating apps exist even guys that are very very crazy if you compare to normal dating apps so search everywhere guys <laughs> increase your chances to find the one don't only concentrate i want to concentrate only on these christian dating apps or i want to concentrate only on these muslim dating apps no we have seen christian ladies finding love on normal dating apps like f dating like afro introductions like okay cupid <laughs> interracial cupid you know all those dating apps and they find good good men men who believe in god so don't limit yourself as much as you're going to be searching on christian dating apps or only muslim dating apps also search in other dating apps for me it works that way so my beloved ones before i end this video witness is a content creator too i would like you to know this and she really does very very good content content that i am very very sure is gonna be very helpful to you so in her channel guys she talks about schengen visa application danish resident permit travel information and opportunities in general you will find witness on youtube by the name of or her channel name is witness vlog and you also find her on instagram same same name witness vlog please support my sister my own home girl <laughs> i know you will enjoy her content very very much and thank you if you will go to support her yeah we did it <laughs> we did it thank you it was really funny sharing my story with you all it was really really nice because i haven't talked that much in detail about this um anywhere else so i'm so grateful that i got this platform to share my story with you i hope you learned something from my story and i hope maybe you will be inspired on in some way or the other and yeah i wish you 
uh, very best on searching don't settle for less yeah uh, uh, honor your values if somebody doesn't align your values don't have uh, the expectation that they will change it's either you walk away or you accept to live with them yes and be yourself don't compromise be yourself so my dear friends we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much guys sometimes i don't know how to thank you but i'll keep telling you thank you so much just know that i appreciate much so if you've watched this video till now may god bless you please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah. my baby it's the best